Good morning, uh, members, officers, and any members of the public who are viewing the live stream of this meeting. Welcome to this meeting of the Civic Affairs Committee. My name is Councillor Anna Bradnam, and I'm Chair of the Civic Affairs Committee. For the information of members of the public, our committee is responsible for reviewing the Constitution, electoral arrangements, and from promoting and maintaining ethical standards. May I start with a few housekeeping announcements? So, firstly, for those in the council chamber, can I point out that everything on your desk, including your laptop screen, is likely to be broadcast at some point because there are cameras at the back of the room as well as at the front. The cameras follow the microphone being switched on, so councillors and officers are advised to wait a couple of seconds before speaking to allow the camera to catch up. Please, can those participating in the meeting via the live stream uh, indicate if you wish to speak via the chat column? Please do not use the chat column for any other purpose. Please make sure that your device is fully charged and that you switch your microphone off unless you're invited to do otherwise. Please ensure that you've switched off or silenced any other devices so that they don't interrupt the proceedings. When you're invited to address the meeting, please make sure that your microphone is switched on. And when you finish addressing the meeting, please turn off your microphone immediately. Speak slowly and clearly, and please do not talk over or interrupt anybody. And I will just note at this point that we have members of the committee, as well as a local member and the officer joining online. If we need to vote on any item, which we will later on, I will ask the committee members to speak into the microphone so that their vote is clear. However, we can only take votes from people who are in the room. And I note for that purpose that we are court in this room. When voting, uh, I will ask members to respond for, against, or abstain when their name is called. And I'm adding into the, the script that for those in the room, on our voting microphones, for is green, against is red, and abstain is yellow. We can explain that nearer the time. Only members in the council chamber are allowed to vote. Those those members who propose or second a proposal must also be in the room. <clears throat> Committee members, at present, I will now invite each of you to introduce yourselves. Members, after I call your name, please turn on your camera and microphone, wait a couple of seconds, and then say your name so that your presence can be noted. As I said earlier, my name is Councillor Anna Bradnam, Chair of the Civic Affairs Committee. May I start by asking the Vice Chair of the Committee, Councillor Claire Daunton, sorry, Councillor Dr. Claire Daunton, to introduce herself. Councillor Dr. Daunton. Um, good morning. Um, can everyone hear me? Uh, I'm Claire Daunton. I'm one of the members for the Fenditon and Fullbourne Ward and Vice Chair of this Committee. Thank you. Councillor Dr. Khan, please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Councillor Dr. Martin Khan, a member for Histon and Impey. Thank you. Councillor Cathcart. Thank you. I'm um, Nigel Cathcart and I'm a, a member for Battle Hall. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Heather Williams. I'll come back to you. Uh, Councillor Van der Veer. Sorry, Councillor Dr. Van der Veer. Good morning. Yes, I'm, I'm the member for Barrington. Thank you. And I'd just like to, I see we have Councillor Harvey uh, on, joining online. Councillor Harvey, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, Councillor Jeff Harvey, a member for Borsham Wars. I'm substituting for Henry Batchelor, a member for, for Linton. Thank you. Councillor Howell. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll wait. Uh, Councillor Howell is waiting for his microphone to be switched out. Uh, Councillor Bridget Smith, are you? I think I saw you earlier. Councillor Smith, are, are you there? Is it 
Pearson. Uh, uh, Councillor uh, Heather Williams, I believe your microphone has now been sorted out. Yes, thank you, Chairman. Good morning, and I represent the Maudlin Board. Thank you very much. Councillor Dr. Ha uh, sorry, Councillor Howell. <laughs> thank you very much, Chairman. Mark Howell, representing the Patrick Ward. Thank you. Um, and I'm just going to ask our webmaster, um, is Councillor Bridget Smith on the call? Sorry. No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and then there's the question, are there any other members present, please, <laughs> lurking in any corners that we can't see? Okay. As, um, I I'm not a member of the no. committee, but I'm, I'm lurking. <laughs> You're lurking. Thank you, Councillor Milne. Uh, so, firstly, I can confirm that the meeting is corret, uh, the quorum being three members. So, may I ask any officers in the meeting to unmute them, themselves and introduce themselves? I believe we should have, well, we certainly do have, uh, Rory McKenna, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, thank you, Chair. Yes, uh, Rory McKenna, Morgan Officer for the Council. Thank you, and Deputy Head of Legal. Um, and Councillor, uh, sorry, Louise Lord, would you like to introduce yourself? Louise Lord, I'm Development Officer for the Sustainable Communities and Wellbeing Team. Thank, thank you, you. And, and author of the report that we're looking at today. So, also in the room, we have Patrick Adams. Patrick Adams, uh, Plymouth Public Services Officer, Clarking the Meeting. Thank you very much, Patrick. Right. Um, so, if at any time a member leaves the meeting, please would they make that fact known to me so it can be recorded in the mi minutes? Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, yes, that's because he's, <laughs> he's so precious to us, we couldn't possibly forget him. So... Andrew Francis, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, hi, Chair. Uh, uh, Andrew Francis, Electoral Services Manager, uh, also present. Thank you very much, Andrew. Right, okay. So, firstly, uh, I'll take the apologies. Um, Chair, we have apologies from Councillor Henry Batchelor and Councillor Jeff Harvey is acting as substitute. Thank you very much. Okay, so then, do any members have interest to declare in relation to any item of business on this agenda? If an interest subsequently becomes apparent later in the meeting, please would you raise it at that point? Thank you, Councillor Howell. Uh, thank you, Chairman. My son has a business in Dale Manor Business Park. Um, I haven't spoken to him on this matter, um, and it's um, a minor issue. Thank you very much. And Councillor Heather Williams. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I'll just do the same as the last meeting. Um, because we aren't aware who um, is the um, interested party in the Bassingbourne case, and I, am, I do know some of the parish councillors there. So just in case it's one of them, I'll declare that interest. Thank is this you. for item five? Yeah. Thank you. Could you turn your microphone on, please? Uh, uh, you just need to turn, uh, to, no, touch the button on the right-hand side. That's it. No, I'm not, I'm not on the parish council side. I know the parish council. So you know members of the parish council of Bassingbourne. Okay, thank you, Councillor Cathcart. So firstly, uh, we come to the minutes then, uh, which is agenda item three. This is the minutes of the meeting at which the stage one of this same, uh, one of the items that we're looking at on the agenda today was considered on the Thursday, the 25th of March, 2021. Um, I will just, although I wasn't at the meeting, um, I notice, shall we go through page by page? Um, page one, page two, and page three, at item six, um, I noticed a, just a misspelling of a word. Um, 
it, the wording says the complaint regarded members of Hayden Parish Council and was not being processed, progressed as the complaint mostly related to matters that occurred when the councillors were not acting in their official capacity. Um, and so there's a, a, a misspelling of the word complaint as compliant, which I've alerted them of services to. So with that amendment, are members happy to um, sign those minutes as a Agreed. accurate record? Agreed. Thank you. Uh, as, a, as, a, as revised. Thank you. So we come on to the meat of our meeting today. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a, an at, a matter that was has already been through the stage one. Uh, this is the Community Governance Review of Sawston and Fabraham Parish Boundary. Um, and we agreed to commence stage two of the consultation of this item at our last meeting. So firstly, can I ask Louise Lord to introduce this item, please? Thank you, Louise. Thank you, Chair. Uh, you will see in your agenda packs a report and various appendices on stage two of this community governance review, which is to consider a boundary change proposed by Sawston Parish Council following two new developments near the sawston Babram boundary. Uh, as has been mentioned, uh, there's been a previous stage to this review which sought to support us, uh, which sought support for the proposed boundary and also invited alternative boundaries. The majority supported the proposed boundary and no reasonable alternative boundaries were put forward. Therefore, stage two of the review invited comment or support on the boundary proposed by Sawston Parish Council only. There were 48 responses to the review and again around 85% of those supported the boundary change and 15 did not support the boundary change. So the recommendation is for committee to recommend to council to adopt the boundary change and also to recommend to council to formally request to the Local Government um, Boundary Commission to realign the ward boundary so that it's in line with the parish boundary. Thank you. Thank you, Louise Lord. Can I just check, um, at the second part of in B, it refers to realign the district council ward boundary between Duxford and Sawston. Is that what it's supposed to say? Is that correct? Thank yeah, it's Dux Duxford is the name of the ward, um, so Abram is in Duxford Ward and Sawston is in Sawston Ward. Uh, so yeah, Duxford and Sawston is correct, but it is, uh, yeah, it's just the name of the ward. <laughs> Thank you. Just wondered. It's a bit strange. Thank you very much, Louise. Right, um, so firstly we have local member Brian Milnes who would like to speak. Brian, would you like to speak as local member? Yes, thank you, Chair. Um, so very briefly, I'd just like to thank uh, officers uh, for uh, their support in uh, this process and um, I can commend it to uh, the committee. Um, it's a fairly straightforward um, and very well supported. The very large majority of people that responded to um, the two um, uh, questions uh, being asked uh, were in support of uh, the proposed boundary. Um, so I think uh, now it's hopefully a fairly straightforward next step. Um, so I commend uh, the report to the committee. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Milnes. So, members, would anybody like to speak? I can see Councillor Heather Williams and Councillor Heather Lord. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I would say, obviously, we've, we've been through this in, in great detail previously. Um, I think the results of the consultation are, are conclusive and... Um, it makes logical sense to then revise the district wards as well. So I would be in favour of us um, supporting it and referring it to council. Um, and I, I don't think there's much more to add than that, Chairman. Happy to vote for it. Thank you very much, Councillor Williams. And Councillor Cathcart. I'm glad to see that both parish councils seem to support it. So often in these cases you get sort of areas of difficulty or conflict uh, between two adjacent parish councils. In this case, they seem to have sensibly come to a memorandum of understanding and agreed a common approach. President's support are fairly straightforward, and I think it should be um, should, should go forward. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Cathcart. Councillor Howell. Um, yeah, I, I'm only going to repeat what everybody else has said, and if um, Councillor Williams made a, um, uh, uh, put forward the motion, I'll, I'll second it quite happily to go forward with this and to accept it. Thank you very much. Councillor Khan, did, no, did you? Okay, right, thank you. Oh, sorry, Councillor Dalton. Uh, yes, um, uh, thank you, Chairman. Might I just ask um, Louise a couple of questions, please? Um, first of all, on the response rate, um, is that, it, it, would you consider that a normal response rate for these kind of governance reviews? Yes, I mean, it, the, the, the stage one response was, I think about 75 people responded and uh, the second one, about 45 people responded, which is fairly standard. Um, I think we do try and make it really clear that people need to respond to both stages, but I'm not sure if that's always understood. Okay, thank and you. Um, people were, I mean, there was, there was flyers to each household delivered to each stage and everything was really widely advertised online. Okay, thank you. Um, and might I have a second question, please, Johnny? Um, and so in our packs, we had a, a rather nicely laid out um, brochure, I suppose, for want of a better word. Um, and was that, uh, how was that distributed? How was that information distributed? Uh, so that was, um, as I said, flyers went to each household and the, the review was advertised online. And if people, people were encouraged to respond online, but if they did want to get hard copies, they could contact either of the parish council offices um, to get the papers posted to them, or they could go to the Sawston Post Office to collect them. Very few people took up that option. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Louise. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, I think if there's no other requests to speak, uh, what, 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 all right, would any of the people online wish to, sorry, it, this actually is relating to Council Harvey, did you want to say anything? Uh, thank you, Chair. Well, well um, I, I do live quite close to um, uh, the um, border in question, and I, I drive up and down that road quite a lot, so um, you know, I certainly agree um, viewing what, what, what's been said in the government advice on this, um, you know, that, that, is, that is where the boundary obviously should now be because um, it, it sort of aligns with the natural geography of the place. So I, I'd be fully supportive. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Harvey. Right. Okay. So everybody's in agreement. Um, so I'd like to just, I, I'm not entirely clear whether I need to propose the motion, propose the recommendation. I'm offered to second. Oh, sorry, right. You're happy to propose, are you? Uh, Chairman, if, if I can help, I did propose option one when I remarked and Councillor Howell seconded that proposal. Um, sorry, are we we're looking at the recommendations? Second. Okay, so we're looking at the recommendations at page no, uh, five on our agenda, item nine. Um, I'd better re read these out. Um, so this is that... It's recommended that Civic Affairs Committee recommend to Council that a new parish boundary between Sawston and Babraham, as proposed by Sawston Parish Council, be adopted as, present, as presented at Appendix B. And B, that Civic Affairs Committee recommend to Council that a formal request be made to the Local Government Boundary Commission for England to realign the District Council ward boundary between Duxford and Sawston wards so that they remain aligned with the new parish boundary. So I understand, Councillor Heather Williams, you're happy to propose that, and Councillor Howell was happy to second. That's correct, Chairman. Brilliant, lovely. So, um, it sounds like everybody is happy. We can only take votes from people in the room, so can I simply have your indication by show of hands, please? So, Patrick, are you happy to count up? Okay. Thank you. So, 
Excellent. So we've now got a revised parish boundary, or we will have shortly, a revised parish boundary for Sawston, which will be a great thing. So next item on the agenda is agenda item five, the update on code of conduct complaints. Um, may I ask Rory McKenna to introduce this item, please? Uh, thank you, Chair. So members will be familiar with this style of reporting. This is an update report on the current code of conduct complaints. Um, there are seven complaints outstanding, um, four relate to Bassingbourne Parish Council, and there is one complaint in against a member of South Ham City Council. Um, in relation to those complaints, I can confirm that I have consulted with the deputy independent person in relation to those claims, um, as the independent person was not available. Um, and I am hoping shortly um, to be able to issue decision notices in relation to um, those matters. Um, there are further two complaints which have been received since the committee last met. Um, the first one for Longstanton Parish Council was received in early May. Responses have, responses have now been received from the parish councillors and the independent person has been consulted. And in relation to the Stowe Comply um, matter, a complaint was received at the end of May. Uh, response has been received from the parish councillor and again the independent person has been um, consulted. Uh, Chair, what I can tell members of the committee is that since the report has been written, um, there are a further three complaints, um, one which has been lodged, which is against a district councillor, and we'll go through the process, and there are two further ones which are intimated. Um, we're just um, finalising those there before they can be formally accepted. Um, Chair, I have nothing further to add at this stage. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. McKenna, and we look forward to seeing your report in due course. So for the time being, we're asked to note this report. Are members happy to note the report? Agreed. Agreed? Lovely, thank you. Okay, so the next item is, members, you'll see from your agenda that the next meeting is scheduled to be held on the 9th of September 2021 at 10 a.m. So please put that in your diaries, and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much. Thank you for the people who took part online and uh, thank you to the people who manage the electricery. Thank you. I'll close the meeting there.